what I'm approaching now is probably the best KT boundary viewing site in the entire world. Coming up behind this tree up here. And just in case anybody watching and listening doesn't know what the KT boundary is, it's the boundary between the Cretaceous period, which is the last period of the dinosaurs, and the tertiary period, which is considered to be the age of mammals, of which we are one. So without this layer here, which is the fallout from the Chicxulub crater near Mexico, in Mexico, which is considered to be the impact spot, the times perfectly with this layer coming up the corner in this exposure oh my gosh I can see it from here all this dark matter is coal oh my gosh I'm just gonna walk right up to this thing I've seen so many pictures of this that I have absolutely no doubt what I'm looking at. Right here is the KT boundary. This is coal. This is dinosaurs. You find it below. Above here is more coal, but you'll never find any dinosaurs. This is really, really crumbly material. So is this. And I don't know if you can see real close, just above my fingernail. Here, let me uh, adjust this here. All right. Okay. So here's the KT boundary layer again. This is considered to be the dust that fell from the atmosphere after the uh, impact. Right here, above my fingernail, here's where I'm gonna zoom in. You see that white layer right there? It's out of focus. That's the iridium layer. And the reason that's there is because they think after all this fell from the sky, all the dust and everything, the only thing that was left were the parts of the thing that hit the earth. And, and in this layer, there's a lot of an element called iridium, and that's found in very, very, very rare amounts on Earth. But it's really, really common in meteorites. And that's why they think that the dinosaurs were killed by it, because in this white layer right above my fingernail, if you take that to a friend who's got a mass spectrometer, they will tell you that it has elevated levels of iridium, which pretty much uh, solidifies the fact that this was caused by a meteor. Whether or not they put the dinosaurs out or not, if it wasn't, then it's a real sheer coincidence. So I'm gonna walk a little bit further down this trail, see what, if there's another exposure. Walking further along the trail, this picnic bench coming up I know all about. To my left is this at rock exposure that I'll bet you just about every visitor here walks right on by. But this white rock up at the top is a cap rock and it's very resistant to erosion. And if it wasn't for that cap rock, this wouldn't be here. All right, this is it. This is the best boundary, KT boundary viewing site probably in the entire world. Trees hanging off the edge there. Watch I don't knock one of these damn boulders on my head. And it's so visible right now I'm probably 30 feet from it. And it looks like, I mean I can see it from here. It's easily identifiable. You can probably see it on here. white layer, the lower le white layer. The 
lot of people, mostly people that like geology a lot more than I do, that would want to be here right now. <laughs>